Hello, everybody. Welcome back to VRML Preseason Week 6. This is going to be another match in this North American evening between Reboot and Instinct. And on the casting booth today, I'm Palador here, joined by Sir Dimwi once more. And how's it going? Tell us about this matchup. It's going really good. And real quick, I got to give a shout out to our uh, Friday Night Activities buddies. They are having a bit of a, uh, a small little watch party. They put it. They just put it together, I, I, you know, so... so not trying to exclude anybody, but they, they literally threw it together just in the minutes before this game was starting up. So, uh, so big, big shout out to those guys as, uh, as I know they're, they're all, they're all watching right now, sitting in a, a little alt space there. Uh, but yeah, we got a great matchup here between these two teams, instinct and in orange, uh, reboot in blue, uh, definitely. And, and the reason for that, that, that Friday night activities watch party is, uh, we got a lot of friends over here on blue. In fact, every single one of these players, uh, uh, on reboot, sweet potato, five spotted dog, neon, seventeen charge. Uh, all guys, I'm going to be getting into some hijinks tonight after this game. Uh, so very excited to see them come in here. Uh, unfortunately, they are coming in with a, uh, a record of one and six. So you know they're they're wanting to pick up this uh, this this win, uh, which would be a very big win over Instinct. And Instinct coming in here three and five. You got Conor Chaos, Zeus, Kavichi, Link One, Kavichi. Definitely one of the better goalies in the league, uh, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, uh, the offensive power that they did, uh, Conamara, Zeus, when everyone's capable of. Very excited to see this one get off. Absolutely. And, well, cheers to that, didn't we? <laughs> On the note of the Friday night activities. Here we go. Rolling in. It's Reboot. It's Instinct. And it's going to be a distinctly fun matchup here. Uh, by the by, if... In case the audio is at all like off for Dimwi, let me know. It was last stream. Just want to make sure we're good this time. Uh, looking for the first... Pass or the shot rather, sweet potato. That was just perfect play by her. I mean, that's uh, exactly what she does, what she's familiar with, right inside the goal. Yeah, big save there by Sweet Potato. But now we got Zeus bringing this one back in. He does shoot on the empty goal, but it does go ding off of that that high post. Now picked up by Sweet Potato as she gets that clear out to the to the other end. Now we're gonna have a bit of a race here, and we do see uh, Rebu getting there first, but they do ever shoot. So Conor America is able to pick that one up. Now looking for uh, an out pass. He has no options at the moment, so going for the cross pass there over to uh, Zeus, who's gonna who's gonna walk that one in. Uh, dump down to uh, who is that? Link one on the floor. Uh, now they do have uh, goalies in goal. Uh, so, so you know, Reboot doing a good job of here of getting back and getting in front of this disc as they come in. But Zeus coming in off that ceiling cross pass from Conamara from the shoulder there. Good shot for two. Yeah, nice goal there, getting the first ones on the board for them. See if I can get that replay up. There you go. All right, on the board. I saw I accidentally had refreshed my dashboard page, but someone was in there complimenting the production value. And why, thank you. Sorry, I don't know who you were. Maybe Dimwi can tell me because, I, like I said, I accidentally wiped my chat. But hello, welcome to the cast. I think it was a... Uh, oh, it was Captain, Captain Canada. Okay, it was, it was. I wasn't mistaken. Good stuff. Welcome to the stream. Been too long indeed. Yeah, I haven't seen, I haven't seen Captain for a while here. Very excited to see him back. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll see him uh, participating in, that, in, in Season 1. I would love to because Captain Canada is de definitely one of the, uh, the better players here in North America. Uh, so they definitely would like, love to see him come back here. Uh, but yeah, so we've got reboot now. Hold, keeping the disc in this orange zone. Uh, uh, Instinct having a little bit of trouble getting it out. Some missed passes here. Conor picking this one up, able to uh, get the pass off the right to tube there to Kavichi as Kavichi walks it in. But again, we see reboot really quick to get back on defense. Something I think they've been working on. Uh, so they, they definitely stuff on the bubble a little bit. Uh, but good pass sequence here from Instinct getting Conor hitting Conor on the ceiling there, trying to get a quick pass over to Kavichi. He doesn't connect on it. Kavichi now on the uh, the near wall on the floor there, getting a the back pass over to Zeus. Zeus going to come in here, take a little bit of time, look for that good pass over to Link. Link now one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, but just wide of the goal. Sweet Potato there, definitely ready to make that save, but uh, doesn't even need to. Not quite yet, but she might need to really quickly here because right down the middle will be Kavichi. Those are tough shots when they're coming in from this this barrier angle. As you go in, you have one, two, three, four different corners to shoot it in. Dead center as well. So those are the, the, the shots that you don't want to give up, if anything else. He saw Neon Neon just behind the goal. Sweet Potato was in the goal. Neon saw that shot coming, tried to stick his hand out to make the save, just doesn't quite connect on it. 
But we now have a sweet potato moving down the field with the disc. Does get the pass over to left two to five spotted dog. He does have a 17 charger on the floor. He was open, but does get stunned out by Link One, who's able to toss that one back of the blue end. Now just on a on a on a uh, solid dump as a uh, sweet potato now picking that one up against uh, just above that uh, the tree top there. Now back pass the 17 charge. Good control here from reboot as now they're opting for that clear the the dump and chase uh, <laughs> picked up by uh, Link Close. One. As, uh, as 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 the chain back chain kind of start, gets back in there, uh, but now passing it out to Zeus, trying to get another charger. That it will pressing up here into the bubble area. It's going to float on just past, well, actually behind Kanamara. A five spotted dog finding it on the bottom, going for the back pass there. The sweet potato, some good control, attempting a clear and boost here. A nice recovery, trying to deliver it now to the other end, but some. Light boost coming on through. It'll actually float right back into the pocket where it's collected here by Kanamara. So Kanamara in the tunnel, just dodging like no Tamara. And going to look for the cross into the opposite side, but could not find his teammate in that stride. So five spotted will come for it. But Neon getting there first, ducking on through, looking for another pass. And right now, Reboot looking quite nice here in the on the stacks in the passing lanes. But that shot almost going to go off the back. Rebounded here. Slapped in, but back out it goes. Some great great defense we're seeing here from Reboot. They're covering a lot of these lanes, uh, not making these passes easy for Instinct as we see this two quick passes from uh, up to Zeus and then over to Link One. Now down to Connemara. Connemara looking for the cross pass to Kavichi, but Kavichi not quite there yet, but does able to wrangle, is able to wrangle that disc in. Looking for the cross pass up to Zeus. Doesn't connect, but picked up by Link One. Link One under pressure now from Neon. Neon trying to trying to force a, a bad pass there, but the pass Ooh. is good to Connemara. But then there was a 70 charge coming out of the goal to get that stun on the attacking player. What a great play there by 17th as, uh, as, as Reboot now moves down the field. Absolutely great timely dive and the punch and the back pass right now. Looking for a deep down clear that will just find Link 1 on the other side. So back it goes off the clear. Some nice like passings coming through, but now it will be a assault and the vault. There's the two-pointer going up six points now, Kanamara. Yeah, well execution there by instinct as they were coming in there. Connemara pulling a little bit of a whirly twirly as he comes in on the goalie and then goalie getting stunned out. So really hard to make that stop there. Oh, virtually impossible unless you have the, uh, the the room for the headbutt. But the headbutt safe. But yeah, great great uh, great execution there by instinct as it came in. Oof, and, and the fast stack just on that approach, uh, trying to deny them a sweet potato in the back line, but an interception it will be as it sails into the wall. Recovered here by Zeus, and he'll let loose for another shot. That's eight points here with under four minutes left. And we have seen Reboot generally doing a really good job of getting back to that goal uh, on defense really quickly there. But, you know, when, when those turnovers happen at the wrong time, which we kind of saw there, that turnover happening right about midfield as Sweet Potato got stunned out on that pass attempt, uh, you, you kind of you, you can get caught out there, uh, you know, as you're, as you're expecting to get a, a good offensive rush in, you kind of get a little bit ahead of yourself and uh, unable to get back to make that save. But now, uh, we've been bringing that one into the orange zone. It's 17 charge, not under any pressure at the moment. Now he is, as he tried, right as he grabs that disc, getting stunned out by Link One. Link One now turning that one around, trying to look for the out pass, but uh, his, 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 the pass in front of him was heavily covered there by Reboot as he gets a cross pass to Connemara. Connemara. Go, looking for uh, Zeus again. He does connect with them. Zeus coming in. Another bit, little bit of whirly twirly going off the backboard there. What a shot by Zeus. Uh, Sweet Potato trying to make that save and not quite getting it. Going in with no fear is Zeus. And well, why not? He is a god after all. That he, that he is. He, the, the king of the gods at that. Uh, great shot there. And uh, but as we, we see now uh, with reboot joust advantage, Sweet Potato taking this disc, quick pass to the left two barrier there, connected to five spot, five spot, looking at that cross pass, doesn't quite connect on it, and uh, ends up as a little bit of a dump, but fortunate bounce there going to Neon. Neon's gonna go for that uh maybe a shot attempt, but doesn't quite connect on it. Nice chain there to pick up that rebound between uh Neon and 17. 17 now with the disc holding on maybe just a little bit too long as uh Connor is able to get that stun off, pick that one up and start turning it down now the other direction. That was some good deflections there as they go into the other side of the floor. The bubble, just outer bubble now. Neon's going to be there at the goal. 17th trying to charge in to contest it. But, oh, finding the Ooh. save. Neon right on points to deny the two points over there 
for Instinct. So great job now for Reboot. Uh, the stun coming out. Neon will get it right back after it. Nice recollection. Great heady passing play softly to his teammates' hands. Just as well over to Sweet Potato. The, the passing, they're looking for the good passes there. That one's just sailing past because it was contested. But still, I'm liking the, the patience and just the softer passes I'm seeing. That's kind of uh, the growth from Reboot over the course of this season. Looking a lot much better week to week on that end. Absolutely. I mean, they're they are looking like a different team in this game. I know the scoreboard says one thing, but what I'm seeing is saying something else entirely as they, as they maintain a lot of control of this disc. I mean, look at that right there. Uh, five spot of dog able to pick that one up, looking for the empty net shot. Doesn't quite connect on it. Sweet potato now with the with the with the uh, the rebound. She tries to get that pass off before getting stunned out, and it was in the area, but not quite connecting on. Uh, but now five spot of dog able to pick that disc back up, looking for the back pass. He makes it. Sweet potato. Sweet potato going far side to neon. Yeah, yes. coming in on the goal. <laughs> what a goal there by neon as he had a defender on him and a goalie and goal. He's able to pop that one in for two. Great goal there by reboot. Let me tell you something here, okay? Instinct is no joke of a defensive team. They have had some incredible games that Kavichi himself is one of the best goalies in the game. Without a doubt, he's proven this in this preseason. And right now, that pass work from Reboot was just incredibly crisp, working all around, not missing on them. And you just got to love it. I, I kind of cheered a little bit just because the passing, you know, the, the, the lover of the passing game I am, and I just can't help it when I see nice, uh, nice plays like that one. Absolutely. I mean, that was so well executed by Reboot. But I, then as we say that, you know, Kibichi getting that deep pass to Zeus there on the right frame. And Zeus bringing it in with a little bit of a whirly twirly himself and putting that one in uh, for a two as we as we wind down this uh, this round one. We're seeing more of those whirls and twirls from a lot of people in the competitive scene right now. Obviously, you know, with people like Zach and Andy, uh, Ender, but now you're seeing Zeus and just a lot of people adopting those that, that control basically as they roll into the goal. It's definitely something I expected to kind of to start entering into the meta, especially when you see uh, the, just the execution of it first by Zach, then by Andy. And as you mentioned, and there's another one, uh, Gamer Boy, when he plays offense, he's another one who'll bring those in as well. A lot of players starting to adopt those, particularly the younger players. But, uh, but as we see it more and more, we're seeing the effectiveness of it. Uh, so much so that a few players are calling for a, for, for a bit of a nerf to it. Uh, I don't personally agree with that, but uh, we do see the effectiveness of it playing out. The more and more we see it, uh, we did see it again, see, see it, uh, Zeus executing it quite effectively here uh, in, that, in that round one. But just to go back to, 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 to reboot real quick, I mean, looking at the possession time, uh, as you said, Instinct is not, a, a, not the sort of team uh, to slouch at all. They do have a, a, almost a minute of possession but Reboot pulling in three minutes themselves uh, with six shots taken. And like I said, this is this is to a totally different team than we're used to seeing. And I'm uh, very, very happy with what I'm seeing here from Reboot against a team like Instinct. Instinct is challenging. Again, they've they've had some of my favorite games of the, this preseason, Instinct has. And just doing it through a good team play, but great defense as well and brawling. And they're, again, just a very strong, collected team. They use, they're true to their name, and they have those, those instincts, just the quick... The quickness that's just inherently hard to teach. It's like you have it or you don't sometimes, and Instinct certainly has it. No, Instinct winning that, winning that initial joust cleanly. Connemara with the, moving that disc in. He does have a few pass options. What an interception there by Neon. What awareness to, to, be, to, to know that that lane is there. That pass might be coming and to expect it. And he gets that grab going for the for the, uh, the the dump in as he was under pressure. But now Link One picking that one up, getting a deep, long deep pass over the Connemara. Connemara going across to Kibichi. Kibichi down the floor to Zeus. Zeus trying to go off the backboard, but hits the bottom side of that cone. Uh, so bounces back out. Connemara now able to wrangle that one in. Look at first pass options. That's fine. Link one on Ooh. that. What a save there by Sweet Potato. Another big save from Taters as in, in this game. Really important saves to be making as, as they maintain uh, the 0 0 tie here. Uh, now Link one with the disc. Now getting knocked loose as well as we look towards the replay there from Taters. The beautiful save. No haters except maybe Instinct not ha being happy. But oh, that one just somehow rolling in off the back. Right by Kanamara is gonna get that score. Yeah, what a shot by Kanamara from the two barrier to go off that backboard. Neon was getting back into that goalie position, trying to make a stop on it. Saw the bounce coming in, went for the grab. Excuse me, wasn't just wasn't quite able to, to, to get there in time. Unfortunate for him, but a great shot there by Kanamara now as we see uh 
uh, reboot rolls out, but unfortunate interception there from, uh, I'm not sure who it was, but then the rebound going to Zeus as they take out a uh, five-spotted dog in, the, in the, the, the bubble area there, able to put that one back in for a solid two. Good shot by Zeus. A very nice one there, just the miss, but they had a lot of players there back at the goal, and that often is the case, especially when you're positioned out like they were, just on the middle and the, the left side of that shot. That gives you such a great chance at creating those rebound and put-back opportunities just like that. And now this is a nice back pass as well on that note from the stack, so denying them. Again, the passing game right now, just very nice from Reboot. The turnover is there, but Sweet Potato, not scared to take it back and now find five spotted on the other side. Of course, Taters has no fear when she plays in these games. She, she is definitely a very confident player. Trying to get that pass over to 17th. Doesn't quite connect on it. Uh, now Zeus with the disc looking for uh, Conor on the back wall. Doesn't connect. Neon now. Quick hands, Neon. Grabbing that one out of the air. Able to dump that one down right about uh, through mid and into the orange zone. Now we got the speed. Neon has the speed, but doesn't quite connect on that disc. And uh, now Conor moving through back through mid. Looking for some pass options. Does have an option there. And Zeus, Zeus getting a big stun there on five-spotted dog. Now able to come one-on-one -on, -one on the goal. He dings it off that post. And uh, coming all the way back out to the center of, uh, of, the, of their offensive zone. Here. So now Kibichi looking for uh, looking to make some space for his team. He does a Conamera un unchallenged on the floor as uh, as Sweet Potato, I believe that was Sweet Potato, yes, comes out of the goal to challenge him. And, uh, you know, as I've said before, those stopping those shots from behind the goal as they're coming in like that so hard. It's a good shot there by Conamera. So buys in the seventh point. And, you know, that is what they're capable of is causing those, just that friction inside the goal when they're on offense for instinct. But again, Still, Reboot holding strong. I mean, their instinct is scoring a lot less than I would uh, expect them to be. And right now, because they're being really pressured hard by the, a lot of the defense and the brawling. I know in the first round, a Reboot was, I think, only a, maybe three stuns behind instinct in that department. So they're keeping right up on the hand-to-hand -hand combat. And yeah, they're still only trailing by seven. And, and it sounds like a lot, but when you consider 59 to 53, that's not much at all as we see that deep shot. And I would also like to point out, these two teams have played each other before. Uh, let's see, it was back on uh, November 22nd, a Friday. And uh, that game, we saw three games go 20-0 uh, in favor of, of uh, Instinct. So seeing now how Reboot has is playing this team now later in the season, you can see just how much work they've put in and how much that is paying off here as they keep uh, they keep uh, instinct from from getting too many points here playing great defense so now sweet potato with that disc looking for uh, looking to make some space she does make a little bit of room often for that back pass now picked up by five spotted dog five here looking for uh, looking for his options he does have a man moving right a little bit but the guy under pressure tries to go for sweet potato on the left there who's was cutting back for it doesn't connect but now sweet potato may be able to pick the one up nope, uh, picked up by link one it gets a back pass to Kibichi. and as we see instinct now moving back into the other uh, blue zone He's going to take a deep shot just as well. Looks like it's a little off the mark, so maybe taken back here off the rebound. Actually sailing past uh, players from both teams, sailing past it. Sweet Potato coming away, looking for the back pass, the immediate stack, but getting rid of it nicely, contesting that one. Some re-grabs coming in now from Connemar and Zeus. Sweet Potato has a light boost. We'll meet them there about a second later, and Tater trying to make mashed potatoes again out of their brains, and I like saying that, and it's, oh, an insane shot from Zeus. Yeah, what a shot by Zeus. Gets one bounce in the in that sky area. Uh, usually you see, uh, you kind of, it's hard to predict what's going to happen when it starts rolling through uh, those grooves up in sky and down in trench. And uh, he gets just a single bounce off the sky, able to pop that one in. What a great angle. What a great shot. But now we have uh, Sweet Potato rolling out. Gets a pass off to Neon. Does connect on it. Neon now in the orange zone. Uh, it's currently uncontested, but the, the back chain is starting to move into his area. Uh, Link one challenging him. Does get a back pass over to five spot a dog. Five spot a dog now looking for. Uh, it looks like 17 charge there on the left side, but intercepted uh, and dumped down uh, by instinct back into the reboot bubble. Or re excuse me. Oh my goodness. Uh, reboot now picking that one up, trying to get it back. But Zeus getting that 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 pass attempt uh, and putting it in for that too. Good shot there. Good read by Zeus. And even Zeus on that, that first one, he went for that same uh, ramp shot. He was a little little further out than the first one that went in just the previous uh, play. But he went for it twice and still basically got there to the rebound as well to uh, find the second opportunity. So obviously a shot he is looking for. 
Now looking for another one from deep, but again, it's just off that side wall, just right outside the, the backboard. Uh, taken back by Link1, finding maybe one, but no, five spotted dog again. That's the second great save at least that he's had directly uh, near the goal, just face to face. We're seeing three solid players on Re Reboot side playing in goal there. You got Sweet Potato, Neon, and Five Spotted Dog all getting saved so far. At least I don't know if the game's credited yet. Yeah, game's crediting all of them, which is uh, nice to see. But now uh, Instinct with control of the disc, Link 1 in that left trap area, moving through that left tube, looking for his pass option, taking his time. He's not under pressure, and he certainly doesn't need to be rushing anything here as they're up by 13. But he does get that pass from the Kibichi, going to Zeus on that back wall there. St uh, st stolen by 17 Char. What a, what a challenger by 17 as he gets that that uh, clear all the way down into the orange zone, into the orange bubble. We might see a goal. Oh, just overshoots it. Five spotted dog, but still unchallenged. Uh, now Conor Mara able to wrangle that one away and uh, move it back into the blue zone. Pass out to Link. Now Link will line that one up. It will hit the barrier, it looks like. Retaken back just from the outer edge, going in for the inner edge. And there's the, well, edge off of that one because they got the shot. Finally, some back and forth play and 15 points on the way for Team Instinct here. Yeah, I believe that was a uh, 17 charge and five spotted dog, I believe, who, who were able to get back there quick enough to try to make a save. They both come out to challenge the player, but that, that does open up enough space for Zeus to kind of throw it over the shoulders, put it in for a good two. But now uh, Sweet Potato is trying to get that pass 17th. I can guarantee you that was an accidental grab by 17th there, but it does it is picked up by Sweet Potato. It dumps it kind of down into that, that left trap area and uh, not quite able to connect on it as uh, I believe that was uh, Five Spotted Dog trying to pick that one up, but it gets dumped down into the blue circle, uh, excuse me, the blue bubble as Link One picks that one up and puts it in for that easy two, bring this to 17 uh, in this game too. It's taken them quite a lot of time to get there. Uh, almost, Reboot almost had that, that breakaway, a fast break of sorts uh, right in front of the bubble, but just a light overshoot. And I got the disc to the other end instead. That was a quick launch there. Pressuring the shots, or the, the clear, I should say. Kabichi will take it away and back cleared into the other side where Sweet Potato finds it again. So a little bit of ping ponging. Now, yes, there's a five spotted dog trying to dump that one down under the orange bubble, but Zeus with the speed able to grab that one out of the air. Now, dumping it, uh, excuse me, passing it over to Kabichi. Kabichi now. Uh, eyeing up his options. He does have a man downfield, but doesn't quite connect with them. So we'll see if Five Spotted Dog able to get that one off the rebound. Looking for the pass there. Doesn't connect with his man. So it looks like uh, Kavichi now able to pick that one up. Kavichi going for the pass to Conamare on the backside there. Five Spotted Dog saw that one coming in. Tried to uh, try to try to either make the interception or get it away from Conamare, but Conamare able to bring that one in for that two to bring it up to 19. Very effective passing play there. Always on the backboard is one of your best spots for the highest percentage chance. On that said, Reboot's actually stopped quite a few of them with uh, some of the dives there. And oof, you wouldn't even be able to tell that that was an offensive advantage joust because of how fast they came out. So right back for Instinct, 19 points. They have 15 seconds, maybe looking to end it here, and they will. So just as the clock was winding down, they find themselves a 21 and the Mercy uh, here in the second. And not for not, I mean, that, that great performance here by Instinct, picking it up. Uh... Uh, looking at possession time, they they they're still they're all the, honestly it looks like they only picked up about 30 seconds in that game. So uh, Reba definitely picking up uh, their defense here, and their defense has been playing so strongly. I mean, you've got so far four saves of sweep had one to five spot a dog, which I believe you had a couple more than that uh, that just aren't registering. Neon get two as well. Uh, so great great defensive performance by Reba, and I could say that it's kind of a similar path my own team took, where we kind of we were able to shore up our back end. It was kind of where we focused in the early half of the season, and that's what we're seeing here by Reboot, showing up that back end uh, and able to, to control that disc in their own end for, for a good chunk of this. Uh, just not able to, to get the, the opportunities, the chances down on the other end, not able to capitalize on the opportunities that they've had yet so far. Uh, as we look at shots taken, going 27 to Instinct uh, versus 6 to Reboot, uh, which is definitely all six of those, every single one of those earned by Reboot. But yeah, Instinct able to just control that in their own end a little bit better and in the chat to uh venom there ace ashimation and uh, captain canada popping up said let's go reboot venom says and uh well captain canada saying it's crazy how 44 has switched the pace up so much and absolutely that's one of the kind of big exciting parts uh, for me anyways just 
for a lot of players, I think, just coming into this preseason, experimenting with it, and honestly, I think it's it's been a great thing. It's opened up oof, so much. Ooh. That was close. But it's opened up so many more options on offense, on defense. The game is faster paced. The actions per minute are, are so fast now. And even for the casters, because right there, the everlasting shot stopper. Sweet potato. That was some magic there. And going on the play, but just overshooting it and back to the bottom of the ramp. So taking it is Kanamara back and getting it over to Zeus. Yeah, big save there by Sweet Potato, but now Zeus dumping that one back into the uh, the blue circle. Uh, Going to be a little bit of a, a, a slow pace race there. Sweet Potato does get the grab on that, tries to dump it back. Kanamara able uh, they are able to pick that one up. Ooh, ooh, and I thought maybe there was a, a, a def uh, one of the defenders was able to, to grab that one out of his hand, but he does get that shot off for that uh, seven meter two. Good shot there by Kanamara. Yeah, absolutely. And just to go back to a second, though, I think so. As far as I can tell, there's different things we want to change, obviously, uh, and you know, figure out uh, what we want to do for various formats. But I think four v four, at least I suspect, is here to say is stay. I don't see too many people not liking it. I mean, really, with the the way the three v three meta unfolded, it was starting to kind of reach its its ceiling of sorts. Like there there was only so much variety you could have. Uh, with three three people but now you have things like double stacks you have you're you're able to cover the goals now you know uh with the defenders and still have one person still covering left center and right so all three lanes are covered you can have three people attacking goal from every side and still leave one in the midfield and have you know opportunities and now going for an opportunity on the shot just off gets the rebound though and that will be a goal for Kavici. Great shot there by Kibichi, but I do want to expand a little bit more on that 4v4. Uh, in particular, uh, put a little focus on the goalies, as we've seen a lot of goalies really shine in this preseason. And I, I wonder if that has to do with the format. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you know, off, uh, uh, offenders, offensemen, not not having as much time as they may be used to, and so it gives uh, goalies more opportunity to make some more saves as uh, as offensemen kind of have to be really quick with their passes and shots quicker than maybe they used to be. Uh, so, yeah, with yeah. That, now we see uh, Neon with that disc, dumping it down to that left trap area, trying to get to the flash spot of Dog, but he's stunned out by Conamera. Conamera going for that long shot. The Sweet Potato is hanging back, not letting them get those easy, uh, I wouldn't call them easy, but those, those, empty, those empty net or tube shots <laughs> uh, opportunities. Yeah, if nothing else, I mean, Deuce has made some incredible shots and, and instinct, but uh, that shot a few times just from that particular angle have, has been off to the right side. All the other shots certainly in line for them. And uh, just real quick to go back to what you were saying as well, I think it's a mix of both. The thing is, so many players and teams have stepped up over the last uh, several months and the during the off seasons, and then going into this first preseason and season of VRML. Like the, the level of play is incredible, but I think it's it's definitely a mix of both. Offense is more difficult than it was before, uh, but just the same. A lot of defenders have just stepped up their game. And now stepping up for that shot. That one, not too far to the right. A little too far to the left, however. So it'll be another miss. Just barely, though. And Link 1 will take that over and be... Well, rolling up to the goal as the defense retreats here for Reboot. Uh, length one dishes that to Kavici, going for the soft pass and almost a save, but still gets it through Kanamara. Yeah, it looked like Sweet Potato got stunned out there at the last second. Almost got the headbutt save as it came in. Just not quite uh, far enough out of that plane, so it does register as a goal for Kanamara. So good shot by Kanamara there. As, uh, as, as, yeah, as, as, as he comes in off the backside. But now we see uh, a reboot uh, with the Joust advantage here. Sweet Potato taking this disc, not under a whole bunch of pressure. They've been doing a good job of holding uh, Instinct back in this third game a little bit. Uh, but now Zeus with the disc trying to dump Another it one. Blue, blue bubble. And gets not too far off. But Conor Mary able to ring that, that one in. Sweet Potato misses her grab as she comes back to goal. And uh, just enough time for Conor Mary to put that one in for three. Zeus really going heavy on the, the bounce shots. He's gone ceiling, he's gone floor, he's gone ramp. He's gone just about everywhere you could possibly go. And a lot of them have been really, really close. Just a narrow misses. But again, that's just a testament. Those, those, the mere attempts are something you absolutely did not see a year ago from as many players as you do now. But now getting a steal. There's a shot from Kanamara causing some chaos. Uh, unfortunate there is uh, Neon was looking for that cross pass to Sweet Potato, but at the moment he decided, the moment he committed to that shot, Sweet Potato started moving up, uh, and it's definitely something I've seen happen in my own team where you know you see a guy there and you just you both kind of make that decision at the same time, and so it doesn't quite connect a bit, and he's able to uh, turn that one around, put that in for a three. But now we've got Neon moving up, 
uh, trying to get that pass over to five spot of dog, or maybe even the 17th, but now intercepted by Kabichi. He's going to throw it up to Zeus there. Zeus turning himself upside down to go up to the ceiling, which is now his floor. He's looking for his passes to the guys behind the goal. And, uh, Oh, what a shot there by Zeus. Neon seeing those offensemen, those offenders uh, up behind the goal on the backboard. They're trying to take him out, but at the last moment, Zeus comes, uh, excuse, excuse me, uh, uh, actually didn't catch it. Maybe it was uh, Connemara uh, was able to sneak down and, and stun the goalie out, which gave Zeus that opportunity to put that three in. That's another one of those things. Once again, newer newer to the competitive scene in a sense. Uh, it was, I want to say, Joker, the first one to probably start pulling that out you know, actively, regularly, constantly, in fact, uh, back in early 2019, going in for that shot just off, but where they go for the goalie, and now you see an awful lot of teams going for that coordination where, you know, wait wait for the stun to come through and try and find the angle on a three. Yeah, now Connor Mara stunned out on that left uh, the left post. He's trying to do a little bit of juke. Five spot a dog. It does get that dump down, and uh, Instinct almost ever shooting, but Zeus getting a grab on that on that uh, that, that block there, be able to stop himself. Now going for another bounce shot. The sweep kind of saying, no, uh, no, we're not letting you do that no more. Uh, she does get the grab, so now moving it down the other direction, looking for uh, Neon there on the floor. Does connect with it. Link not looking for that pass. So Neon now uh, getting the pass up to 17. Charge 17 under pressure goes to sweep attack on the pole. Oh, and heartbreaking as she loses control of that disc. I've had that happen to me you know, to myself as well, and I know how much that stings as you have the opportunity to go in one-on-one -on -one with the goalie and it, you just lose control of it. So now it was, instinct with the control. And it was a gorgeous set of passes too up and down the floor just evading the defense because uh, instinct was playing them awfully tight on that one. They still managed to weave it through. So that was really nice pass work. Could not convert on the shot, uh, but just the same. Instinct could not convert on that pass, so it'll sail back to the pocket here uh, for them, but still very impressive uh, pass work from Reboot, and just as well the defense coming in here uh, in the bubble, but however, that will be trouble. That was a nice little sidestep from Kanamara for the 18th point, assisted by Kavici. I don't know, football, they call that a swim move, and he definitely swam over the defender there as he came in. What a nice little juke by Kanamara as he came into the goal, saw the saw the, the, the defender come out, challenge him, try to steal that disc from him, but now he gets just over the top of them and able to put that one in for a good two. Well, in basketball, we call that a little show-and-go. I don't actually know. Show and go. Not, not, re <laughs> not really, but, I mean, you know, you show the defender the disc or the ball in basketball, and then you kind of you just abate them out a little bit, and then you kind of swing it on through for, uh, for a move on the goal. So something similar. What a nice little steal there by five-spotted dog catching Conamara off off guard getting the pass back to neon neon trying to find uh look like 17th down uh, down there on the floor doesn't quite connect with it so it is loose now picked up by Connemara. Connemara moving it in does get a pass off to the ceiling doesn't connect though it's not picked up by sweep pit it's just going to dump it to that left tube area but now picked up by Connemara just before it got to 17 charge in the tube Connemara trying to get it back out to his teammates disc loose picked up now by five spotted dog going for that dump but Connemara there to grab it and oh and that's going to be the end of the game as Connemara gets a long bounce shot off the backboard for three with the goalie and goal what a great shot there by Connemara absolutely that was just a killer through the slice on this that, that, that back slice on this game uh, 21 points there for uh, instinct and taking away the victory but Make no mistake, Reboot played incredibly well, especially, again, just the week-to-week -week development we've seen from them. And you mentioned going into it how strong of a team certainly Instinct has been and how many really uh, tight matches that they've had throughout the season. And, I mean, really holding holding their own and just draining that clock. You know, they uh, couldn't find the offense there for Reboot all the way through. But there were some really great passes. They were a lot more collected on offense. They're looking for the back passes. They got the stacks much quicker. Uh, it's... No joke how much just improvement that they are rapidly showing here just across a short six-week period as we lose the rest of our stats that day. Uh, before we before before it goes away completely, I just want to touch on possession time here. Ten and a half to eight ten. Now now that that seems like a big deficit, but when, when that was about what the deficit was going into game three. So in that game three, reboot able to 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 uh, maintain the same possession time as instincts. It's just instinct was able to capitalize on their offensive opportunities. Did, did you before. not get kicked out? I no, I I saw I saw it before oh. I was memorizing it before we got booted. I got so, you. Yeah, so, uh, what a I really wanted to, to, to mention that because just to see how uh, Reboot was able to control that. Death, I mean, the, forget the scores here. The, the way Reboot played, 
uh, particularly when you compare their play, compare their play to the to earlier in the season. I mean, that was absolutely magnificent on their end. Um, I am a little biased. These are all, are all friends of mine. I know that's coming through a little bit to anybody watching, <laughs> but the, 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 honestly, the way they played this game was really, really fantastic to see. And I'm really, really now really excited to see how they're going to do uh, as we, as we approach season one. Hey, same here. Couldn't have said it better myself. Again, they're just they're coming along quite nicely. I'm hoping in this offseason, too, we'll finally manage uh, you know, over an Eclipse, get some uh, scrims in with them, things like that. I mean, it's, I won't lie. It's been the last month and a half now, or basically the six weeks of uh, of VRML preseason. I've played, I think, three times, and they've all been uh, just like mostly coaching scrim type things. So it's been a while. Might be a little bit rusty, but you know what? Uh, it's just it's great to see I mean even without us there they've improved an awful lot again in a, in a few short weeks I think they've debuted in what week two or three uh, so they haven't even been here like the full preseason but still just managing to show their stuff and and uh, really hold their own against a highly competitive uh, team there and the defensive juggernaut that is a stay in Kafichi's team on instinct so absolutely very well played I totally agree but just the same I mean well played to uh, instinct you know they showed exactly what they have been showing consistently throughout the season just speaking of i mean they've you know they've been here since the uh, first week as well and just showing that passing play that teamwork they you know zeus had several of those bouncer shots from the mid area from the ramp uh had a couple really narrow misses but they're good looks and got their own rebounds a lot of the time you know uh, kavichi didn't have his uh you know 10 incredible saves per game as I, i've kind of come to expect from him but like nonetheless still heavy-handed on the brawls and you know really strong on the boost and and uh instinct you now congratulations to them on the win but just the same reboot well done and well played and uh you know i know you were excited as you said it, it was coming through for you sir dimwi and i think i know what else you're excited for starting pretty soon here Actually, yeah, Gilligan is now uh, probably intentionally spamming me with invites, so uh, I should get rolling here soon. So yeah, so good. great, great game. Oh yeah, you, you, uh, you'll, 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 you'll be rolling in a little while, sir, didn't we? Yeah, yes, definitely. Okay, go have yourself some fun, and for everyone else here on the stream, thank you for joining us tonight, and we will be back with still some more games yet uh, at 9.30 Central Time, which is to say about 20 minutes from now, we'll have Atlas Megacorp and uh, more s'mores. And then in 50 minutes from now, Rampage versus Kang Gorillas. So stay tuned for that. But until then, I've been Palador. That's been Sir Dimwi. This has been VRML Preseason Week 6, and we'll see you again very soon. Have a good night.